There comes a time when enough is enough. And I think for the Minnesota Vikings, the fans, the entire franchise, that time has come now. I think it's time to clean house for the Minnesota Vikings, uh, starting with head coach Mike Zimmer. I don't say this lightly. Back in 2000, what was it, 14 when he first came in as the head coach, 2013, whatever it was, I was elated. The Vikings were coming in as a, a team that had given up so many close games. Had given, I think there was it was some kind of record of, as to how many fourth quarter comebacks they had allowed. Harrison Smith, that defense wasn't happy. They still had AP and, and players that were up and coming. Uh, you know, guys like Cordero Patterson, Sharif Floyd, Xavier Rhodes, and there was some optimism surrounding this team. And then came Mike Zimmer. Some good years. Immediately started rebuilding the team after you know a year after they went five ten and one. They they brought in Anthony Barr and Zimmer brought in his defense and he started to turn things around. Quickly, they became a, a great team with a great defense and uh, a team that really relied more on the defense rather than the offense. And, and I think that kind of uh, was kind of a foreshadowing and was a future detriment to the team. But we liked what we saw as Vikings fans. And then came the, you know, obviously they went into, uh, um, you I can't talk today. They went into the new stadium. And I think that at that point, it became apparent that they were going to have a new home in U.S. Bank Stadium that was going to be a great home. And yeah, when that they, they won that first game against the Packers. And, you know, I think it was 2016 at that point. And then 2017 came, made it to the NFC Championship game and lost in miserable fashion. Now, I saw that game as either going to be a breaking point for Mike Zimmer and the Minnesota Vikings or it was going to be a starting point. And I think as we sit here, what, three or four seasons later, it's clearly a breaking point. And, or at least it was going to be the foreshadowing one. And now we're here. You lose in heartbreaking fashion to a team that had no wins, no wins. And now you put yourself in a position where you have to basically win, pretty much win every single game for throughout the rest of the season to be even make the playoffs wild card. And then probably most likely lose in the wild card round. But I think it's time. And I don't say that lightly. I have absolutely loved what Mike Zimmer has brought to this team. He was a big reason that this defense was quickly turned around. This offense was looking something special. Teddy Bridgewater, if he hadn't gotten injured, this, who would have known? Who knows what could have happened? But it's become very apparent. We have seen it too many times, especially over these last couple seasons. There's games where the Vikings just don't even show up. Uh, that was pretty much prevalent for the first entire half against the Lions yesterday. And it, it became apparent quickly that the Lions were a tough team, especially after last game, and the Vikings had to basically have a miracle field goal to go and win that game. And now they lose in this kind of fashion to probably the worst team in the NFL. It's not easy. And I don't say that lightly against the Lions either because they're they're going to be very, very, like they're going to be a very, very good team very soon, especially under Dan Campbell and company. But the time has come for the Vikings to clean house. And I don't know where it goes from here. I think there's a couple pieces you keep guys like Andre Patterson. I think Ryan Ficken's done some great things with the special teams. But, you know, overall, I just I don't know what happens at this point. I think, it, well, honestly, a lot of it comes down to how well they kind of finish out the season. Uh, and I think it's going to take out a lot of time, a lot of time here, excuse me, uh, to figure some things out. Um, and I, I feel like it's going to take – a lot of searching for the Vikings to find their new niche. I think it's going to take a lot of looking at what is best for the team in terms of whether it's offensively or defensively, what's best for the team. We have seen, especially over these last couple seasons with Mike Zimmer as the head coach, that the defense has let the offense down. That's the truth. I don't care about players opting out. I don't care about injuries anymore. No more. Excuses aren't, aren't welcome. Because at, at some point, when you see teams like the Packers who have a ton of injuries and are still finding ways to at least play respectable or at least bring it down to the wire against the Vikings, and now the Packers currently sit at 9-3, and three, and, I mean, they're, they're constantly a team that, despite their injuries, seem to bounce back or at least look tough. Injuries happen around the NFL. And it's time that, honestly, I just I can't get it with this team anymore. You, you get to a point where... You know, I, I was, my wife asked me yesterday, she was worried about me. She's like, are you okay following the game? And if I'm being honest, I was just fine because I wasn't expecting anything less. The Vikings have let 
the franchise down. They have let the coaches, the players, everybody has let everybody down at this point. And I think it's time to clean house. I think it is time for people to, I think it's time for the Vikings to find their new head coach, their new identity. And I think it's time for the Vikings to wake up to the fact that they need a franchise quarterback that is not Kirk Cousins. And now, no, don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. Kirk Cousins has been fantastic this year. Fantastic. I've loved everything I've seen from Kirk Cousins. In, in, my, in my mind, this is not his fault at all. But I think if we're going to build for the future, if the Vikings are going to find a way to build for the future, they have to move past Kirk Cousins, whether that's trading him, whether that's one more season in purple, and then, you know, uh, and, and that's it. I don't know. But Kirk Cousins is, I don't think he's going to be the future in Minnesota. I think Kellen Mond, is, his future is looking brighter. We could even look to, towards the draft this year. But there is too much talent on this team right now with a new head coach. Honestly, if you put Mike Tomlin in this situation with this current Vikings team, if we swapped coaches, I think the Vikings could be in the NFC title game. That's how good and how high I think of this team with its current talent. It's got talent. But... I mean, just uh, you can highlight many different examples of coaching decisions throughout the season that Mike Zimmer has not got, just has not gotten right. Whether it's two point conversion attempts, whether it's you know taking timeouts too early, whatever is game management, it doesn't matter because at this point, I think if you put in a better coach, uh, I think this team is in the playoff conversation, and it's not even close. Because if you look at it, rosters across the NFL, there is not. I don't think there's maybe maybe a total of maybe five teams that have a better roster than the Vikings. I mean, right off the top of my head, I can think of the, about the Bills. The Browns are in the conversation with what Kevin Stefanski has done there. Uh, you know, and I think there's a plethora of other ways you could go about it. Um, like we said, so I don't know. I just think. At the end of the day, the Vikings have a long way to go. They have to decide what is best for the team moving forward. And I think it's time to clean house. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. And we love every single one of you. Check out our website at thesportsbreedpodcast.com. In the description down below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. Give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, also, if you have anything you would like us to cover, make sure you send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com of what that is. And we'd glad, be glad to cover it. Or just put it in the comment section. And again, we'd be glad to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about it being time to clean house for the Minnesota Vikings.